Hey guys, this is your girl Daphne Hilton and you are tuning in to Let's Go to Church Gospel Show with Big Ben. For every mountain you brought me over For every trial you soon be Hey family, it's Marcus Jordan, and you're tuned into Let's Go to Church Gospel Show with Big Ben. Hey guys, this is your girl Daphne Hilton, and you are tuning in to Let's Go to Church Gospel Show with Big Ben. For every mountain, you brought me over. For every trial, you see me
What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up, everybody? First, I want to thank everybody that is coming on. I need everybody to share, invite, invite people to come on this live because we got a special treat for y'all tonight. Um, it's it's your boy Big Ben, and you tuning into another episode, not episode. Let me my country coming in episode of Let's Go to Church Gospel Show with Big Ben, and it's, uh, we have a special guest today. Uh, he's a legend in the gospel industry. Uh, he's the CEO, founder of Ty Scott Records. Uh, he's the hymn professor now, guys. I'm telling you, he could sing any type of traditional song you want to give him to say. He could sing it. We, uh, as I introduce, and Bishop Leonard Scott. Hey, hello. <laughs> How are you doing? <laughs> doing good. I'm trying to do some sharing here. I heard you say you need to share. Oh. oh. <laughs> You probably wonder what is he doing? Okay. 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 So how are you doing today, Mr. Bishop? How are you doing? Oh, I'm doing good. I'm doing good. Doing real good. Thank you for having me on your show. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Thank, Thank you for accepting the invite. Uh, didn't have to. So um let's just go straight into the question. So basically how how did you get into singing? Like let's talk about the beginning stages of you singing, like years, forty plus years ago. I was in music before the Lord saved me, um, my goal was to be a big rock star. <laughs> back in the day, this was back in the 60s, uh, 1960s. So, uh, I had a great big old afro. I know you don't believe it. but <laughs> And uh, I was in this band and, and we thought, you know, we were going to be big. And uh, But I went to a meeting one night and my heart wasn't right and <laughs> something got a hold of me <laughs> changed my life forever I cut right. my afro off <laughs> <laughs> and uh started living for the lord actually i actually when the lord saved me i got out of music altogether wow because um, music had been my god you know you can make a god out of anything Right, right, and we man, we lived and ate, drank music, you know, and right, and right. it was uh, of course it wasn't godly music, it was, uh, and everything that went along with it, and that whole lifestyle, you know, the yeah, drugs, yeah. the women, all. The, um, so when uh, God saved me, I di I didn't want anything to draw me back, um, right, right, and I just I got out of it all together, and after about a year, it's, it's like um. I went on a fast and, and God just kind of gave me a release in my spirit. And I just got in the choir, you know, I wasn't trying to right, right. be a big star or anything. I was just going to sing in the choir and uh, he started giving me songs, you know, like, I mean, to write songs. And I took those to our, our organist and asked him what he thought about it. And he said, uh, I think we ought to do a recording. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so we, uh, we did a recording with the, with the church choir. And um, my my attorney at that time, I had just started practicing dentistry, and you know, okay. and then had a couple other little businesses. And my attorney said we we need to incorporate because somebody said we stole their song. You know, they could sue us not only just for that, but for all the other right. entities. So um, we we you know, he asked what do we want to call it, and I said I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> so my name my name was scott and my partner's name was tyson and he said well, why don't you call it ty scott i said sure <laughs> now, you know i'd like to tell you an angel came out of heaven you know and said i want y'all to do <laughs> but, but that ain't the way it happened you know in, right, right. in in retrospect in hindsight i can see god was working through this whole thing but back then you know i, I just thought we were making a business decision uh but god had other plans for it now we're, we're actually the oldest uh black gospel recording company in the world that i know of you know yeah, yeah. i've been around for a while 
Yeah, so you got saved at the age of 23, right? Right. Uh, yep. Yep. All right. Same age as you. How do that? I'll read the bio. Okay. <laughs> Yep. So you have wrote and wrote and yeah, you have wrote and uh, so many music, crazy worship music, traditional gospel music, um, throughout forty plus years. Your effort. All right. Okay. So uh, that comment cool me up. I'm sorry. I'm <laughs> sorry. But um, what was I talking about? Okay, you wrote so many uh, crazy worship songs and. Throughout the yeah, years, years, and, and um, so, so what? So which one out of all the songs, songs that you have uh, written, written, do you have, do you a, have a particular album, album that you really, really think that that, uh, that you that like the most? Like uh, that's hard to say because I've done, you know, I do praise and worship, and then I do hymns. Yeah, yeah, and and I like I like them both. I'm, really kind of push the hymns because people are getting away from them right right and and there's an anointing on those hymns that, that we don't need to really get away from right, right um but we need to we need to sing new music because yeah, yeah. that's you know the fresh and um but it's almost like you know the bible says i, I give you uh wise men you know, old men because you're wise and young right, men because right. you're strong but we need the new music uh, and we need the old music, you know, in order to uh, get the job done. Uh, probably, though, we did a project called "Be Lifted Up," okay. uh, which I think is was a pretty powerful uh, praise and worship project. Uh, yeah, and, and we've done a number of hymns. Yeah. You know, yeah. The, the hymns project that, that we have out now, the uh, Keep Hymns Alive. Yes, yes. It's probably, I don't know, all, all them hymns projects have been good. Because <laughs> <laughs> they're they, hymns, I, you know. Yeah, they're, yeah, hymns. they're hymns. Yeah. Those are, uh, uh, hymns are kind of like an uh, easy go to songs, songs, if that makes sense. Because mm -hmm. um, I know some people don't like uh, a lot of wordy songs. songs. I'm one of those folks, I don't like a lot of wordy songs. songs. I just go straight to the hands or give me a, a simple song, not so much words. But that that is me. So yeah. Okay. So well, how did you that how did you balance uh, ministry and you got you could, you could practice ministry and everything? How do you balance your regular life and, and ministry? It's a it's a balancing act. Actually, I'm retired from dentistry now. Okay. okay. I, I retired about a year ago, so um, I have I have a daughter and a granddaughter that are dentists. Okay. So they they, they they've taken over that uh, part of it, and they're doing oh. an excellent job. And um, I hung up my pliers, man. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, it, it was uh, you know, you go through different seasons of life. Right, and, right. and at that season, you know, when I was young and, and strong, and uh, you know, you, but as you as you get older, um, your focus changes, right, right. and the things that um, were, seemed to have been more important than when you raising a young family, you know, you uh, got a lot of mouths to feed, you know, a lot of right, right. Uh, people to put through school, you know, all kind of. It's a different focus than when the nest is empty, you know. And, right, right. Uh, then you can kind of focus more on on things that um, I guess you could call eternal, you know. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, all right, all right. Let me go ahead and start sending these comments. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh. I do agree with your season. The season is focus. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. All right. So, so yes. yes. Uh, so, so my, my favorite, favorite song from, from you is, is the Soul Front Praise Bracelet. Yeah, all right. All right. That's my right. favorite that's one favorite now. One now. Uh, all right. So, so let's let's, let's, let's talk, talk about, about that. that. Um, the process, the process of, of writing, writing that and that putting that all together. together. That makes yes. sense. Yes. Yes. It's it's a, a way and a lot of praise. I was a praise 
before I became a pastor, I was a worship leader at the church I was at, and oh. and so I had the assignment of of seeking the Lord, you know, for the songs that would would be sung, and um, it's uh it's easy when you can put songs together yeah. that are in the, in the right key, you know, which kind of flow yeah. together and. Some some songs won't match up, you know. Uh, right, right. The keys will be too different right, right. to really, uh, and so you, you know you kind of get a knack for what what works together and what doesn't work together. Of course, all of those songs in the storefront praise medley are basically what we used to sing during testimony service. Right. Um, yeah. uh, you remember testimony service? Yes, I remember yes, testimony service. Oh. <laughs> A lot of churches don't have testimony service no more. Yeah. When I was growing up, as a kid, we did have testimony services. And yeah, yeah, I know. Yeah, and them are the songs they sing. You know, right. They, they, okay. they, uh, the same same thing over and over again, you know. Yeah. And, they, and they put two or three songs, and somebody else would get up and sing a song <laughs> that was, you know, that fit in with that one, you know. Right, right. Yeah, and, okay. and uh, stuff right. make you shout, man. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. And I, I love and to give them praise. Yeah, yeah. Must, everybody. If they know, everybody know Big Ben is crazy now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, but so how did you so start did you in? Start like, in so, so you got the Ty Scott Records business. Then you got the Ty Scott Ty Scott Radio. Then you got Ty Scott Blog. So how did you get started into that? that? Um, Ty Scott Radio and Ty Scott Blog. Yeah, yeah. Well, that that's probably the company is doing that. Oh, um, oh, yeah. So you're not you're doing that. No. Oh, okay. I got okay. I'm not confused now. Okay, so so you're you're just okay. You're just the founder. If that makes sense. That makes sense. Right, right. Okay. In fact, okay. I don't now. When when we first started, it was basically you know a small operation. Okay. Um, we we did most of it. Well, we did the whole thing of it out of my dentist's office, you know. Um, and then then we uh, got a building, and we had maybe one or two employees. But you know, today we have a number of people that you know do different operations and uh, different things in the company. And uh, I'm not as involved as I used to be. My son Bryant actually, you know, runs the company. Okay. Okay. And he has a, okay, a staff okay. of people you know, that work with him, and um, and we have launched out into other things. You know, we think we've done three movies, um, and we're you know working on other movies and those kind of things as as things evolve. Right. right. Um, people don't buy as many CDs or physical recordings anymore. You know, they right. stream. And, um, and so you have to find other ways. Uh, we're still in the music business, so we determine, well, how do we get music to people? Well, right. Um, right. movies always have a lot of music in them. That's yeah. another way yeah. to get our music out is through uh, movies. And so we're kind of launching into that and, and, and other ways, you know? Yeah, you have to have, you have, to have you different, have different, have different have ways, ways to... Uh, uh, Get the music out there because like uh there should not say guys, say guys um, people don't like hard copy like hard 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 cds hard anymore hard i do but maybe because i'm maybe just maybe an old, old soul and i like it like mm. that's just me, that's just me. I, like CDs, so. I like to read the, the covers too yeah yeah I like the, the the liner notes and uh, right right you get to see the uh the album yeah. art and everything and see who wrote that song and who feature on that song right so what do you, so think, you that, think that okay okay hey, uh, hey, uh comment says comment what do you think the industry needs industry to improve on? improve on the uh the music industry the gospel music industry um i think basically need to improve on the same things that every industry needs to prove on number one integrity right. uh, and um course um doing what you said you're going to do and being who you are and not trying to be somebody else um 
uh, being true to um, your craft and you know some people are like just in it for the money right and, right and don't get me wrong you have to have to have finances in order to survive right, but right. that that shouldn't be the f central focus especially in gospel music right, um, right. Um, and you know really in any music I, I believe what, whatever you're doing you ought to be doing it because right, that's what right. your calling is that's what you know you should be doing that's who you are um, and a lot of people though they just want to do what they can get the quickest buck doing you know what well right, right. and don't really have a, a focus the money is the focus you know right if right. I can make more money doing this I'm gonna do this you know and uh, I believe after a while you'll find out that money is a good servant but a poor master yeah yeah yeah, you're right. right. You're right about that. Um, they got a um, the artist is I I just feel like the artist is you know that um there's an always the when you first start out you're not always gonna get the big big cat you know what I mean I mean, I mean you have to start scratch start from scratch you gotta come out of your pocket to make sure your friend gets out there. Um, I'm pretty sure that's how Tom Scott Records started out there money out of your pocket to make sure Christ got goes out and be the biggest burn like it is today oh man I can tell you some stories we every year I'd sit down with my accountant and you know at the end of the year they go over everything for tax you know to see how many tax how much taxes you're gonna pay and and, and we had of course the dental practice and record company a couple other little businesses and he he would say every year he'd say, "Now this is doing good. This is doing good." He said, "He'd say this this record company though. You need to shut that down. <laughs> that's, that, that's just draining the money from all the rest of them." Right, right. And uh, you know, we we debate about it. You know, I tell you, he he liked the golf. My accountant oh, oh. did. You know, and I said, oh, "Well, you know, you like the golf. I like gospel music." You, know, you spend <laughs> thousands of dollars a year going around golfing. Wow, he said, wow. "Just let me let me do what I like to do." Yeah, yeah. And uh. And he just shake his head. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, you know, after after a few years though it turned around, you know, and it right, became right. more than a hobby. Um, you know, so. you all right. Let me see another call, another, another question, question and a comment. After, after living, living for a while, while what would you what tell, would you your, tell young, your young tell your younger self? self? I tell my younger self, what would I tell my younger self? Keep the faith. <laughs> Don't give up. <laughs> uh yeah, I tell you, um, sometimes when you're going through it, it's kind of hard. Right, right. I, I know that just the things that you're doing, I know you've seen some tests and some trials. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, sometimes when, when you've probably said, what's the use? You know? Right, right. But uh, you just, if you know that God has called you to it, you just got to stay there. And uh, and he'll bring you through it. And yeah. A lot of times it's... Uh, it's just a test to make you stronger, yeah, yeah, and, and to get you ready for uh, the next test. Yeah, you are right. You are right about that. So, but, so we know that you are uh, the Hams professor, the founder of Tide Scout Records. But I know you're right now. What are some of the hobbies that you like to do um, with your wife, and your grandkids? So, what are some hobbies that you like to do? I like to well. I'm writing. I'm writing my fourth book now. My, my wife is helping me, you know, write okay, that okay. book. So, and um, of course, we're getting ready to put out the next issue of the uh, Keep Hymns Alive uh, series, All right. All right. which uh, will be coming out. The single will be coming out. I think in a couple of weeks or so. Okay. Uh, and um, I do. I still pastor a church here, and. and uh, we enjoy, you know, just fellowshipping with the saints and and right, right. growing disciples. All of us growing in our discipleship right, for the right. Lord. And you know, this year, the Lord has been dealing with me about um, going back to the basics. Right, right. Going back to the basics. Going back to the foundations. We, I don't know, this pandemic thing has kind of sucked some of the life out of us. It seems like you know. Right. right. A lot of people can't get re motivated even to get back to church and 
you know, just we've gotten kind of lazy. Um, right, right. The technology has allowed us to stay at home and worship. And, yeah, um, yeah. But there's there's a dynamic that you get when you come with the fellowship of the saints and, and worship together that you can't get, um, you know, just watching it on the screen. Uh, right, right. I thank God for the screen. Don't get me wrong. We still need to not forsake the assembling of ourselves together where iron sharpens iron and where we grow in faith. Yeah. Oh, I definitely understand. Uh, so what, you're uh, coming out with a book. Um, you already said what you're doing next. So uh, can you please let them know your social media handle so they can make sure they follow you. Yes. Uh, Leonard Scott or Bishop L. Scott uh, for Facebook, um, Twitter, Instagram, um, all the social media, and uh, the project that, that oh, bishoplscott.com is our website also. And, Bishop L. Scott, okay. Um, yeah, yeah. The, uh, the project, Keep Hymns Alive. Check out Keep Hymns Alive, which, um, of course, the storefront praise medley is was one is one of the singles on there you know the very first single we put out was uh rance allen bishop rance allen um singing uh throw me overboard i've got a hiding place and there's a storm out over the ocean it was a little medley two song right. medley and it was actually the last thing he recorded before he before he transitioned right. um yeah so right. praise god right. Okay. okay. So guys, yeah, I need to stay in contact uh, with Bishop and Scott. He has so much in store for y'all. Like books, uh, movies, new music. He's still singing now. He's been doing it for 40 plus years now. He's still singing now, guys. Yeah. I want to be like you when I get older. <laughs> hey man, get ready. Go to that heavenly choir. Get yes, ready. Sir. <laughs> so you talking about, are we doing, you doing a tour soon? uh we're looking we're looking into that yeah we're looking into that uh we were we were in uh not just a couple of weeks ago we were in south carolina columbia south carolina with uh sister anya okay. and uh had a good time there had a good time yeah, okay. anya dixon yeah All right. I'm excited. I'm excited. Well, I'm going to be supporting you on Like I told you offline, I'm going to move next to you once you talk to uh, go for Praise Medley. And then when your other news come out, we'll do another TikTok to talk to as well. To help yeah, push on my end. Yeah, I, I, I want to see that, man. I, I'm, I'm anxiously awaiting. <laughs> <laughs> That's going to be good. That's going to be I'll real. Tell you, I'll tell Wow, bitch. wow bitch. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> they said the legends on here, guys. The legends on here. But yes, I yes, want to thank you so much for coming on here. Because uh, you didn't have to. You, didn't, you, didn't, you could have said no. You could have just ignored my inbox and said no. <laughs> but you did you say yes. I, I couldn't say no. You know, part, part of my, I believe part of my assignment for this season of my life is, is pouring in to those that are, you know, coming you know, see, one day you're going to be the legend. You know, right, you're right. going to have people telling you, man, you did all of that. You had three stations, you you know. And right, right. <laughs> yeah. That's yeah. That's and so okay. anything that I can, you know, do to help you and, and those others that are coming, um, the, the, the new gatekeepers, you know. Right, right. Yeah. Okay, okay. So that's all. That's all I got to today. Um, once again, thanks for coming on here. Um, do you have anything else to say to the audience before we do leave? No, I appreciate appreciate you, and I appreciate your audience. Appreciate the people of God, the people of God who are um, on the wall, man. I tell you, these are perilous times. Yeah, um, yeah. You know, it's, it, you'd have to be blind not to see what's going on, man. Right, right. Things things are winding down, and. Uh, the devil is busy and so is God. I mean, yes, he's pouring yes. out his spirit and and uh I just want to encourage um everyone to stay on the wall, you know. Don't don't get discouraged. Um, you know 
keep on fighting. Keep on fighting because the time is, is, is almost up. Mm -hmm. And you're going to receive a reward, a just reward. Hallelujah. And it's going to be worth it all. Yeah, yeah. Praise, praise. Come on, come on, Bishop. Come on, Bishop. Come on, Bishop. Yes, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> so now we're going to do a little commercial break and uh, we talk about the old we all world. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and answer that stuff for y'all. Uh, so, everybody, please stand here. Uh, let put that banner down. And then we're gonna put the flyers there. Okay, so guys, the 2023 OWR nominations are still out uh, till um, February 17th, 2023. Uh, so this is our media categories. Uh, Blessed Christian Influencer, Digital Magazine of the Year, Promoter of the Year, Radio Show of the Year, Internet Radio Station of the Year, Play of the Year, Radio Announcer of the Year, Network of the Year. Uh, podcast, uh, podcast of the year, of the year. actor of the, of the year, movie of the year, actor of the year, radio station of the year, graphic designer of the year, author of the year, pastor of the year, and church of the year. And, and also, also, we got music categories for the artists, artists as well. As well. Um, so yeah, I need yeah, to go to www.awards.com. You can go ahead and submit your nomination. We got gospel rapper of the year, male artist of the year, artist of the year, music video of the year, best vocals of the year. Inspiration Artist of the Year, Contemporary Artist of the Year, Choir Director of the Year, Urban Artist of the Year, New Artist of the Year, EP of the Year, Christian Artist of the Year, Song of the Year, Choir Director, Human Artist of the Year, Digital Year, Quartet of the Year. So these are the categories. This year, I'm so excited about the Old Rabbit Hall World. It's going to be live in person. Live in person, you guys. Live in person. The first three years was virtual. Um, and it's going to be in Nashville, Tennessee. Uh, the theme is black and white Italian. It's going to be live in person. Once again, live in person. No virtual. We ain't doing no more virtual. No more. I can't do it no more. I'm done. <laughs> so, um, it'll be the third one. And um, we have an announcement about our Um We have uh, Larry D. Reed. Larry, uh, Larry D. Reed is one of our honorees. Uh, Dr. Robert Barnes is one of our uh, honorees as well. Um, I went for the answer yes from Ty Scott Ripper uh, for uh, Turn Blazers of the Years. They're one of, supposed to be one of our honorees this year for the uh, OWR Awards. So I'm just going for answer yes. And then, <laughs> and then once I get that, then we're good. We're good and Gucci. Um, but we're going to be announcing some more come to this uh, February. Um, we got the board members and all that stuff. So it's, it's going to be big. Y'all be on the lookout for that. So yeah, I'm excited. Okay, so that, that's all I got for y'all today. We're about to be out. All right, see y'all later. Bless you, man.